Juice manufacturing company, Juice Perfect, is running 100 new bottles per minute on average at six plants. We're gonna make recommendations that they slow it down. At their Florida plant, they have a time to failure of 300 minutes. It's substantially lower than the other bridges. We're gonna take a close look at Florida and come up with a better asset management strategy to reduce that unplanned downtime. We're also gonna step up our quality assurance program. We're gonna be inspecting shipments as they come in on the truck, rejecting any bad shipments before they make it to the line to cause downtime, and we're gonna get our bottles coming as soon as possible straight from the blow molder to prevent any variances. Juice Perfect is running an average of 102 bottles per minute, with Florida being the highest at 137 bottles per minute. As we can see from the graph, uh, with them running 137 bottles per minute, they're having a failure every 300 minutes. If we look at Illinois, where it's a little bit of a cooler temperature, we can see that they are able to run their lines at a fast speed of 107 bottles per minute while still maintaining a high time before failure. In North Carolina, you can see that they're running their lines about a quarter of the speed and they are seen four times the time before failure rate in comparison to Florida. Our analysis of this is that the climate may be a contributing factor um, to their stoppages. Because there are so many stop it, stoppages, our speed is being affected by this. Our suggestion is to slow it down 20 to 40% because that will allow the production lines to run smoother and increase our daily output. So in Florida, we need to come up with a way to beat the heat. We believe that heat and humidity are, again, contributing factors to downtime. The, the temperature is likely causing a variance in the packaging, the, the labels and the bottles. Um, they're going from a hot truck into a, a, an air conditioned factory, and that's likely gonna cause them to expand or contract. These aren't glass. When the label goes on to these bottles, the bottles need to be perfect, the labels need to be perfect. If the green direction of the labels is wrong, then they will curl, absorb moisture, and deform the bottles after they are labeled. When we get a good batch, we need to take an example, case, bottle, label, and keep it aside so that when we're experiencing downtime, we have a good batch to reference. At Juice Perfect and in Florida, we need to eliminate unplanned downtime. We're going to do this by first eliminating minor stoppages. What, what's that? It's when the machine shuts down every 300 minutes. That takes a toll on it. These are hard stops. It causes chain wear, chain stretches, and the gearbox is taxed. We're, we're going to stop these short stoppages by implementing concepts from total productive maintenance. We're going to have our operators more involved in the maintenance program. Have them lubricating the equipment, cleaning it, and inspecting it. We're going to use principles from Hyzam and Pareto charts to track every single reason for stoppage so that we can investigate that further and stop that stoppage from happening in the future. Our mechanics are going to center line all adjustable parts on our equipment so that we know an acceptable range for where each part should be set when bottles are perfect. Therefore, if we have to raise the height on a belt to accept a taller bottle, we will know that it's a problem with the bottle and not with our equipment. Then we can reject that batch of bottles and the manufacturer will be on the hook for it rather than us trying to run it through causing even more problems. We need to focus on the final product. There's some variance in the packaging and we want to suggest some uh, recommendation to eliminate the stoppage as well as the uh, uh, failures. So first of all we want to make sure that the bottle uh, would be perfect by um, not keeping it in the heat uh, environment but uh, right through the um, right from the uh, mold blower. Um, beside with the packaging variants, we want to increase the tolerance so that we have some more the wider uh, range, the acceptable range for uh, that. Uh, we also apply the uh, quality concerns by uh, inspecting both inbound and outbound um, product. And uh, finally, we want to make sure the final product is perfect and uh, the most important one. In conclusion, we think that the heat in Florida is deforming our bottles when they enter the air conditioned building. This is causing a very frequent stoppage because of the variance in the bottles. Everyone's different. The frequent stop is demoralizing our workforce. It is very demoralizing when the machine stops all the time and you are increasing your speed to keep up with your demand. What we need to do is slow down the lines and realize greater daily output at a steady pace rather than trying to make up for by speeding up this will decrease absenteeism and increase employee morale, making us a more attractive place to work.